For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone talking to Julie Goodenough, AC women's head basketball coach with the season now approaching Saturday against Wayland Baptist. I know you're ready and the players seem to be ready to it, it. You go after each other for a long time, don't you? Absolutely. I, th I think we're really tired of practice. <laughs> and you know, once the games start, our practices are pretty limited from now until Christmas break. And so uh, we're going to finish up strong this week with some good practices, or that's our plan. Um, and we have one opportunity to, to make a good first impression, and that's on Saturday when we open our season. We have a, an opportunity not only to win our first game, but to win over some fans. You know, we'd like to see a, a big group from uh, the ACU community as, as well as the big country. You know, lots of fans come out and watch our team. Uh, we have six new faces. I, I hope that people are excited about coming out and uh, getting to know them, watch them play. But uh, it's an opportunity for us to, you know, win some fans over, I think, with a good first impression. Saturday, Wayland Baptist, Monday night, uh, Howard Payne. Then you go down to San Antonio to take on a good uh, UTSA team. Uh, let's talk about Wayland. Now, it's your first game. They've already had three cracks at it. Uh, and that, that's an interesting dynamic, isn't it? You've got, they've had a chance to play together and learn each other. I think especially for your new players, just to, to have a game or two under your belt is significant. So, you know, that's that's probably my biggest concern is just that we have not been in that game situation. We've had scrimmages, but no exhibition game or anything. So just to, to know how our, our new players will respond will be interesting. But uh, we've got such a great group of returners. They will we'll start five returners. Um, Hopefully they'll really set the tone and, and get the game going in our direction, and then our new players will be able to come in and uh, kind of show their stuff. So um, Waylon is a good opponent for us to start with, uh, very athletic, uh, super fast, transitions, probably their best offense, uh, good offensive rebounders. Um, they're 2-1 and one right now and are, are playing really well early in the season. When you looked back at last season, it was so much good. You guys finished seventh in your very first league in a very uh, – crowded Southland Conference, 14 teams in the league. You would have made the tournament had you been eligible. Um, when you looked back, though, knowing that you were going to lose Renata Marquez, what did you say, okay, I know we did these things well, but we need to do this a little bit better, and then how much were you able to address that with this year's recruiting class? Well, we really didn't feel like we would miss a whole lot when Renata left, and so, you know, we didn't have a lot to make up Gretna. No, she only does everything, <laughs> including drive the bus, right? Yeah, uh, you know, losing Renata was huge. Was. Um, you know, if we just needed anything, she would go get it for us, a rebound, go, uh, you know, get an offensive rebound, put it back in, drop her free throws, hit a three, you know, just make a play. Um, so that leadership component is what we've really missed and and quite frankly we're still missing that you know waiting for um, a leader or two to emerge and and hopefully starting games will help that um, you know help someone have the boldness to step up and just say hey I'm in charge you need a basket I'm gonna get it you need a rebound I'm gonna get that um, but I think the the thing that we were probably weakest at throughout the conference play last year was just bringing in uh, defensive intensity for 40 minutes. We've addressed that a lot in the, the preseason, and I think our returners understand the emphasis this year is on, you know, defensive intensity. Uh, we're going to score a lot of points. We feel like we have players and we have a – um, you know, kind of an offensive philosophy. We think we can put a lot of points on the board, but we should not allow people to score easily against us. So um, hopefully our defense will, you know, come out of the shoots uh, with lots of intensity on Saturday and we kind of set the tone for the season that we're going to be more defensive minded than we were last year. Well, it gets started on Saturday at Moody Coliseum. A great chance to come out and see the returning players like the Dimbas, like Sydney Shellstead, like Alexis Mason and the others, and Whitney West, and also some of those new faces as well. For Julie Goodenough, I'm Grant Boone for ACUSports.com.